okay. Apparently I got a little extra time. Don't have much more to say, but there was one last sentence I really wanted you to hear. And dilution, okay. Shortening the Hebrew to Jew to account for marriages outside of the tribes. It was a dilution of the pure Hebrew blood. It's diluted. But again, these are words God just, you know, if you try to think, well, for whatever reason, the, uh, the tribe of Judah began to be called Jew. And how did that really happen? And then all of a sudden, the entire tribe of Judah is calling each other Jew? Why? I'm a Judaite. I'm proud of it. Don't call me that. I don't even know what that means. That's what you would have gotten. So, no, it's not something that just happened. God put it in his story, and they became the Jews. So it's a true story. But he's the one that started it. Hebrew, Israelite, Jacob, you're now Israel. Had a man in divine beings do that, which, of course, Judaism is going to learn about since all your prophets were men divine beings, hosts of, of God and the angel of his presence who is a person, two divine beings. They enter a man and they flat out take over. It's kind of like you open up the door and uh, some extended relatives are there. And they got all these bags and suitcases and stuff. And they say, yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to help you through the holidays. We thought we'd come on in. And he just bars through the door. I know there's a movie like that. Uh, uh, yes, come in. I, I shall host you. I will be the host today. <laughs> come on in. Suddenly, you find yourself bound to a chair, tied with ropes in the back room. And he said, hey, what are y'all doing out there? Oh, we're just changing the movie, uh, the music, and uh, putting some food on. Uh, you like roast beef, potatoes, and carrots? Yeah, I like that. How about uh, tacos? A little Mexican food, yeah. Got any cheese enchiladas? Yeah, we got everything. Huh. No, I'm pretty comfortable. You might loosen up these ropes a little bit. No, that's okay. You're not going anywhere. And you get a little evil inclination in their voice. Okay, I just had to put that in. It's a dilution of the pure Hebrew uh, blood, which, you know, may have been the impetus to change it. But God just introduced these words. You don't see the evolution of the Israelites, the exiles, into the name Jew. It is done. And I always say that with love in my heart. But it can be a harsh word. And it can hurt to the quick. I know the Jewish people, if you use it with any particular tongue, I understand that. But you have to understand, I would have been with the God of the Jewish people for 16 years, 24-7, every second, every thought in my mind, every word in my mouth. It's coming from Him. Now, He can be me for me, as He did in creating Adam and Eve and the angel of His presence. He forms you. Now, he created humanity. He created me as a human being, a human species. I once was anyway. Don't feel so human anymore. But, um, oh, I don't have self-will. I don't have self-thought. I don't have self-anything. <laughs> I'm a puppet. And, you know, y'all don't know God. I mean, he's not. You can't say, well, I bet he's a good person and takes... Well, I mean, they make sure I eat and things. <laughs> you know, he says, look, you're going through a lot of pain. Uh, it, it's, it's because of what you're walking into. You just don't know how bad it's going to get. And I'm like, look, I know more than any one of them. And I'm pretty, if you just read my book, The Life of the Righteous Servant, you're going to find out. I would somebody to be fooled around with about. Uh, the best label would be... Uh, a fighter, you know, I had this deformity at birth that God put there, 453, afflicted by God. I've sacrificed much 
to get that temple built, get God in it, make sure the Jewish people, the entirety of Israel, which I just love, is not utterly destroyed by the world. Those are some heavy tasks. I gotta make them any righteous. I gotta make people believe me. I need those people that say, who can believe what you've heard? I can tell you I do. You can't just listen that a man is saying it. You gotta go read his proofs. Proof one, I've told you. It's the book. The knowledge in it. Impossible. If it's impossible, it's a miracle. If it's a miracle, you gotta figure out how that miracle came to be. God told it to me. Just like he told Moses, Genesis. Told Moses, Leviticus, now go tell the Israelites. Now he wrote this book and he's telling me, go tell the Jewish people and every Gentile who will listen to it because it will hurt them to the quick. My arguments are too strong that Jesus Christ is a myth. A myth and a liar and a deceiver of the highest order. And it comes from their book. Religious people just go blind. You know, they see something they don't like or conflicts with what they think. It didn't happen. Turn the page. Just turn the page. It didn't happen. Religious people, they're hooted to me, I guess. Okay, they're not that funny. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm still learning. Okay. Uh, next up, chapter 15 I got. Well, it's about 60 now. To redo, y'all have seen some really bad video out there, I'm sure, that are listening. Well, there's about uh, 900 people who are revisiting, so I'm sure they've seen some bad video. It's because of all the reposting, all the re-download, all the re-upload, but it's the only way to get it out there. And I had to tell you who I am, because you're not going to do it for me. I am God's righteous servant Moshe, the prophet like David with the capabilities to handle the chores of Elijah. Four righteous men to come. Only one righteous servant, righteous servants to come. Only one description of a righteous servant. He's all four. I've already covered the prophet like Moses by writing the books God dictated to me. The only other thing he did was the Exodus. What we don't have the Jewish people in prison right now are in slavery. Certainly can't be Joshua is Toby Singer's things. That's so ridiculous. That's his attendant. His name was Hoshi. And God changed it to Joshua, which is an important thing if you want to know a little bit about Moses being a uh, man of divine beings. Let me read the book. Or find the video, I guess. He's standing right there with Moses' rights. There's never been a prophet like Moses again. This is when God says, I'm going to send one one day. Never been one like Moses. Well, <laughs> Joshua was standing right beside him. Why not say? And Joshua became the prophet like Moses. I know they use his name, according to Toby the Sanger, some 50 times in Hebrew as leader. So, so, you know how many leaders are in the world right now? How many of them can write God's words? That's the leader you're looking for. Sometimes somebody's writing God's words and he hasn't become a leader yet. I can tell you this, Toby is singer, Jews for Judaism. You better get out there. You better listen to this stuff and what people are saying about me. And you, if you want God to ever look at you again, if you want to go into the scroll of remembrance and see the Jewish heaven, you're going to go to all your people and you're going to tell them you've been wrong. Isaiah 53 is not Israel, and you can even go further and tell them how wrong you've been. Just repeat your commentary. They'll get it. Right now, you go to somebody who is 66,000 that follow told you and you say it's not Israel. They say it has to be Israel. Tobia said so. Yeah, but do you know why he says that? No. I don't care. Tobia said it. So, religious people, I'm right back to square one. I don't want to say they're all idiots, 
But 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 what happens is they get a belief, and they're not gonna let go of it. I don't care what they read. I can show you the greatest lie straight from the lips of Jesus. In the history of mankind that has deceived more people in the <laughs> has ever been any other life in the history of mankind. And it's in their book. But apparently the great anti-missionaries like Mr. Sanger and Jews for Judaism don't seem to get it. What else would you focus on? Oh, that's right. Toby is focusing on human sacrifice. He says God's a God of human sacrifice. Made the murder of the Holocaust. Guilt offerings. Which is a bad, bad Hebrew translation. Guilt offerings. Let's go to Leviticus. And really, what does it do? I mean, I can understand an unblemished lamb, you get sent free, or at least for unintentional sins. But to the Christians, you're sent free because of that sacrifice, human sacrifice. Jesus even says it. God has prepared my body, this is in the New Testament, to be the final sacrifice. No more animals. And of course, you know, Toby revived that for his commentary. He just making stuff up. He's just like Rambam. We're with religious people. God told me going into this, he says, you're going to find, you know, they're real down to earth. And, you know, uh, great thinkers and uh, uh, will listen to argument and give argument. I said, well, that sounds good because you don't find that with Christians. <laughs> you're just dumb. Praise the Lord. I mean, I'll show them this lie. I can sit down there in a you know, full run and say, see, okay, everybody got the book. Okay, see, this chapter. Okay, see what he said? Okay, now this one and this one. you got to put several together. That's what he said. We'll go find it. It's on video. I'm not going to read it. Um, and they'll all get it up and they go, we don't believe anything you're saying. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And they all run out. You can't shake them. And these are the people who are going to disavow Jesus and <laughs> make the Jewish people exalted by all the world. You're rabbis. You know, they got to get out of the box. You know, they, they, they're doing the same thing. It must be, there's got to be a key to this. I'm going to find it in the next 20 years. Why are Jewish people, religious people, why they are? What is that? I mean, those, both of those men are intelligent. Uh, they're, they're, they're agreeable, they're fun to listen to. But when you say, start saying the murder of the Holocaust is the righteous servant because they're a guilt offering, which, by the way, is a compensation sacrifice. It's a compensation for destroying religious... What is it? Religious uh, stuff. It's like taking a manar and throwing it up against the wall. You're going to pay for that. Uh-huh. Better bring your unblemished ram in. That's another thing. None of these people were unblemished. Toby says they're all un um, It's a guilt off and they're all unblemished lambs. And how they could be the righteous servant, I don't know. He's God's representation of the day of the Lord. God's got to have a God. To deliver covenants. Do they not know there's covenants coming? <laughs> Those two are a joke. Now, I have to understand, you know, they, men t taught them. Other rabbis teach rabbis, right? Man teaching man. And if anything has fallen askew before uh, in the past, well, it just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> but the religious people is like, that's what I believe. I believe in Messianic care. I know God says it won't be tossed, but I think we'll be exalted. Jesus Judaism entire commentary is based on that exaltation of every Jew disavowing their gods and coming to worship with the Jews. It's based that's what their commentary is that gets you to fifty three's Israel. It's a joke. It's never has happened, it's never gonna happen. Go God. Man. Go get some tiddly winks and have fun. 
Nah, I'm not happy with them at all. Bet I got such short ones here. <laughs> I figure I can let you know a little bit more who I am. I'm a friendly guy. I love to laugh. You know, I'm still Keith. Sure. A little intimidating that where I go, God's within me. Thank you for his presence. Maybe a little intimidating. But, you know, I'm the only one they hurt. Because I'm in the five refinements still. I'm still not there. Which, really. See, they won't. An angry response, she was telling me I'm not ready. Makes me, and I said, well, why am I still angry after 16 years? This doesn't work, does it? It's the time to just give it up, God. You had 16 years, you didn't get what you want done. You're just going to have to admit to it. You failed. You're not perfect. I'm the, hey, friend to friend. I'm just trying to rouse him. He says, hey, you know this is not exactly how I wanted it. I said, I don't know, but I, I, I just learned that maybe you did. Yeah. You're God. I am but a human being. So sick. We fool around all the time. Okay, that's it. Well, this is my part two of two videos, and I got the space. I got, I'm buying two memory cards tonight. I'm going to order them. On my dad's, on my dad's uh, credit card, bank card, because I got my social security today. That's how I live, moment to moment. Thank you.